Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at the text that goes into each page. So I can maximize this again, put this down, and have a look at these. So you can see I've got the four pages ready, <clears throat> and using this acronym, you can see you've got pages, then text. And then we can start doing all the, you know, the more exciting, interesting things. Now, the reason why the text is important, it's important to do now, because then it gives you a, a better understanding of what you, what kind of space you can, you have to play with, basically. If you put all the pictures and videos in first, uh, and then you try to fit in the text. You're going to struggle. You're going to have to resize everything, and then uh, it just it just spend you you end up spending more time, wasting more time, time that you don't have in the exam itself. So get the text done first. So to get the text done, first things first, obviously open up all of your pages. Competition page, events page, writers workshop page. There we go. So we got all of them open. You'll see that template is there no longer. We just want these ones here. And then we need to go and find the text. Now, they always give you the text, as I uh, always say to my students. So, you you know, if you organize this better, you know, like similar to mine, you'll go into your text folder. If you haven't, you'll just find it here. And you'll find this in this instance, they have two. And it's always the one that's got info in it. Now, this one here, this additional one for this paper, uh, that they've named competition will is obviously make it's made reference to later on uh, in the competition section. So we'll go back to that later. So first things first, let's use the information from the info document. Now, what I tell my students is to um, go through each one and look for clues, things that you think will go into specific places. And you don't need to even worry about where in the page it goes. Just get it in there. And then you can move things around, change the size if you have to, and so on and so forth. And if if it helps, do the easy ones first, the most obvious ones first, and then you can do uh, the ones that don't make sense or that that aren't as clear, uh, clear cut um, afterwards. Because sometimes, you know, through the power of elimination, you should be able to uh, decide where it's uh, best suited. And I also say to some of my students that struggle with this uh, this task that it's important, guys, that um, that you have the text in there. Even if you get it in the wrong place, you'll still get marks because at least you know you can move on and get the other items done and other the other requirements and still get the marks for it. But if you don't have the text in there at all, one, the website doesn't look complete, and two, you know you and you you're sort of put yourself in a, in a difficult position. You you know you can demoralize yourself and really psych yourself out sitting there in the exam thinking, okay, I don't know what to do, and then you basically, you know, end up freezing. So don't do that, just get the easy ones into right places first, and then the ones you can't think of, you can find places that, you know, maybe are lacking some text, and maybe it'll make a, 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 make more sense to you then. So there's nothing to say that you, can ha you have to start from the top, you can start from the middle, you can start from the bottom, it doesn't really matter where. So what I'm going to do is, I'm straight away I can see the Writer's Workshop for Teenagers. That is very easily from for, for the writer's workshop page so i'm going to cut it control x or right click and cut it doesn't matter which way you do it and the reason why i cut it is because it makes it then easier to see how much i've got left so i don't duplicate uh, the text so i'm going to go to the writer's workshop and for now i'm just going to paste it in here okay just in straight away go back and carry on with the other areas so let's see Welcome to Who's In It. Now that sounds like something you'd find on the home page. And so does this and so does that. Yep, so I'm going to get all this and put it into the home page. Okay, now I'm going to pause the video here and show you the end results. So obviously I don't want to spend, you know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, well, however long it might take recording and, and, and when you're watching me do this. Um, at the end of the day, yes, it's a tedious task and yes, it's not something that's the most exciting thing to do, but it still has to be done. So I'm going to pause the video here and show you what I've done at the end. Okay, welcome back. So um, I'm just going to go through each one. You can see exactly what I've done. So you can see I've got the welcome message that I had for early on. Competition was relatively easy to find. This one is pretty easy to find because it says competition there and you can see the rules of competition here and the email link that's linked to what they're referring to here. So that's very easily the competition page. Events, it starts off, some, you do have to read this, boys and girls. So it says this year's events are guaranteed to thrill, intrigue and delight in equal measure from top offers uh, to ever popular critics, uh, critics corner, there's something for everyone. So that gives them the clue that they're talking about authors, so you can see guest authors here. And the last thing to talk about is Critics Corner. If I keep going down, you can see Critics Corner. 
but then this message here says there's also plenty of books uh, bookstores and since that that feels well, it's obviously a continuation which means it works well with this now i put all that into the events page in the writers one you can see what writers workshop so it's pretty nice and clean cut the next thing i need to do is finish off these titles here now in this particular exam he hasn't actually specifically asked for title for your web pages but i always say that it's good practice to have this because you never know you might find yourself in the exam um, where it actually asks you to do this and if you're already in the habit of doing this one it makes it look more professional and two it's just because it's something that you do second nature uh, it shouldn't throw you off it shouldn't be a surprise so i'm going to finish, finish the sentence this is going to be home page this one's going to be competition page and also the other important reason uh, for having this is that it completes the page it makes it look better uh, if you were to browse through this web page and didn't have the titles there the user wouldn't know which page they're on other than reading the text so that gives a clear indication which one you're on as the user itself so just really gives a, a more professional finish at the end events page and this one here oh, writers workshop page there we go. Um, I'm going to have to save each one, so control S on each one. There we go. Right, the next thing is to format these because it doesn't look so well. You know, we want to separate them out and um, just make it a little bit more pleasing on the eyes. Um, You've got a lot of space, but I'm not concerned about that right now because obviously we we we, don't, we haven't looked at the pictures and the images and the media that the, the examiner wants us to use uh, yet. So when we get to those stages, we'll see that we can, we might have to move things up. We might have to set, split these cells up and so on and so forth. But right now, I want to just you know finalize some of the, the the design elements of the text itself. So for example, here this is a list. You can see highlights included says here, and there's a list. So what makes sense to do is to select them right click and then go to list and just do an unordered list and wait it's gone there so what i'm going to do is delete that Oop. push this down first there we go and select that first there we go list unordered list there we go so what i may have to do is go back one there we go delete one and then enter then go back here delete one and then enter and then it gives me the three bullet points there just makes it look a little bit uh, neater and it makes more sense it's a list at the end of the day um, if you want to add certain fonts just to make things high you know uh, more obvious to the eyes what you could do is just select certain text like this and then you can go into um, for example let's just say I want to copy no actually I don't want to put the title in there because it'll change the size as well but what we can do is change um, so look where has it gone I don't want to change the font uh, we can make it bold there we go so it makes it bold so if I do that on all the areas there it is that it seems important okay so there you go there's two things right there now to change to color I believe let me just change it here I cannot remember um let's give this a color and let's give this a name for now i'm going to call it highlight so highlight that okay it hasn't done that so let me just go on here There we go, and let's go to new, let's create a new one. I'm just going to call it highlight or highlighted text. Press OK, and I'm going to choose, I want it to be bold, and I want it to be um, aerial. That's going to stay that. I always tend to go for aerial just because it's simple, it's easy on the eyes, and so on and so forth. I'm going to use this to pick this color here. And then we'll press apply and press OK. And now I should be able to highlight this and go in here and find there it is. 
and add it in. There we go. So once you create a CSS style, you should be able to basically highlight whatever you want. And I'm just going to use that to highlight anything that I, I need to highlight. Um, could even do the same thing here. So I'm going to do that as well. Highlight a text. There we go. Just makes it easier and makes it look nicer on the eyes as well. Um, and I can save that and go through each page to do that. But obviously, because this this rule is only on this page, I'm going to have to go onto the other page to do the same thing. So I'm going to go over here. Um, and yes, it's not here. So you can see it's not there. So what I'm going to do is create a new one first. So CSS new highlighted text. Press OK. Choose the same things. So Arial uh, size and keep as it is bold and color. There we go. Apply. Press OK. Now it says welcome to the competition competition page. There we don't need to say competition here. Actually, no. Let's let's keep it there. You are allowed to change things, by the way. So you could say the competition if you wanted to, but I'm going to keep it as it is, and just highlight this uh, using the highlighted. Uh, style that I've just created, push this down a little bit, uh, read through this and see if there's anything that needs to be highlighted anymore, the maximum word count is 2000, yep, so I'm going to highlight that, and closing date could be highlighted as well. Rules of the competition. Okay, so this is another list. I'm going to push this down here. I'm going to highlight all of this. Right click, and I'm going to go to list and unordered list. There we go. And again, same thing. Just going to delete, delete, enter, delete, enter. There we go. Um, I'm going to highlight that, email only, there we go. I'm going to have a separate video about making this an email link, but right now that's pretty simple. And in fact, let's highlight that as well, because that's the they are the rules, so highlight that as well. And all of a sudden, that looks a little bit more uh, nicer on the eye. So all we want to do right now is just get the text in there and make it look nicer. So same thing. Oh, sorry, I need to create it again. So go through every single page and just make it look nicer. Um, put the fonts in and keep it consistent. Notice how I'm using the same fonts and the same designs, same colors all the way through. There is a separate mark for consistency because that is linked to uh, having a professional website uh, design. If the house style is not matching, uh, then you're not going to get that mark. Okay, so continue that all the way through. Make sure you save as you go along, and then we'll look at the next section um, in the next video.